Hello, hello, hello. Today I want to talk about Keyscape by Spitrasonics because I picked it up last week and I'm just loading it into the computer now and getting it all in and I'm looking forward to just sort of checking out some of the sounds so I thought I would take you guys with me for the ride. So let's do it. All right, let's take it on the box here. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, there's a seal, a seal. All right. And let's see. Oh, look at that. Very nice. User guide. Should be that hard. Okay, so we got two of these little USB drives, A and B. Let's, let's get this loaded up and see how it works. All right, don't mind my desk here, it's a mess, but it says insert A. Hello, hello, that Keyscape, loading that Keyscape took forever. I don't know if it's the USBs or what, whatever the case is, but it literally took hours and hours. Uh, and um, I mean, my computer is a pretty good computer. It's pretty fast, so I'm not sure what happened. But uh, let's listen to some sounds now, the exciting part. So this is just the... <coughs> Ooh. So this is just the LA Custom um, Grand Piano. I am not a piano player by any means, so definitely... Uh, <laughs> yeah, not a piano player, not good on the keys, really uh, got this VST because, you know, I want to learn, I want to get better, but the um, the sounds are just supposedly top notch and it really... sounds it sounds really great so let's go through some of these sounds here and just because I'm excited so a lot of people talk about the roads which um you know sounded pretty cool this I'm actually running this on an external hard drive it's a 7200 rpm external hard drive and the wait time you'll see is just a little bit uh just a few seconds and then it's ready even when it says it's still loading it's actually still it's ready to play but um Just love the sound of this, like, just, oh, so lush. And actually, I'll play the lush one. That's even lusher. Oh, sounds really cool. And there's just so many parameters here, too, to just, uh, tone, even. That's nice. Shift the color. Just sounds so nice. I can put some effects on here. Too. Phaser. So many things to play with, which is really cool. Um, clavinet. Yeah, that's, I've never really been into a clavinet. Um, this upright is pretty nice. Like that. It just sounds so real. And you even hear like the, the clicking. Ah, it's just the sound quality. It's just thing just blows my mind. Oh, this thing is great. So I'm looking forward to creating something with this. Um, just so many sounds, and then they have these these duo functions, which basically it, it takes the uh, two different pianos. puts them together which is just really cool um yeah man just 
just really loving this. Let's see. Rhodes Piano B Smooth. Let's see what that is. <laughs> Thump. And I love this. It's the action even between, like, two when you when you're playing two keys. All right. Let's see. What else can we play for you? Clavichord. So much cool stuff here. I mean, that's it, it, this thing was huge. I think it was like 80 gigabytes of of material in terms of, of putting out your computer, which is really, I mean, you have to use an external hard drive. Ooh. That might be need to use that for something. Hemichord. Sounds like a harpist chord. And I heard like these electric uh, pianos, like these older pianos are really nice. Sounds really nice. All right, what else we got here? Vintage vibe. So it's cool. So they take the different pianos, like electric pianos, and put them through the amp. Different amps to get certain sounds. It's pretty neat. Let's see what the wah does. Very cool. All right, what else we got here? Oh, the toy pianos. Let's try this toy. Retro. And I noticed that, um, so for each piano, they may have like a retro version and you see this little card here, it's like faded postcard. It gives it a really nice sound. So these toy pianos are freaky. Oh, there's just so much here. Oops. So many sounds like what will you ever Yuletide? Oh wait, I'm gonna go to this Yuletide one. So much cool stuff. Yeah, so you could just spend hours like going through this, listening to all the different sounds. And oh, this Christmas blend I liked. Such cool stuff. Uh, really looking forward to diving into it more, making some some songs with it, learning. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it could be a little overwhelming as I've gotten a few of VSTs that I need to dig through. And I feel like I keep burying myself a little bit more, which probably is not a good thing. But there's just so much that I want to digest because I think I need to figure out the right tools to uh, make everything just happen, you know, just be solid off the bat. Um, you know, I did photography for years, and one of the things I really learned when I was doing that was uh, if you spend more for uh, your lenses, especially lenses, um, and your cameras, it it really gave you such a more polished, like, better product. I could tell the difference between the pictures a really high-end camera took with a great lens on it versus... Um, you know, a lower tier camera, entry level camera, such a big difference. And people say, you know, equipment doesn't matter. Like, you know, you could create a, a beautiful photo on anything. Like, and to some extent, uh, oops, <clears throat> some extent, I agree with that. But I don't know, it only goes so far. Uh, I feel like, you know, I was charging upwards of like $4,000 a wedding for wedding photography. And when I feel like you're putting out quality product you can command that price and I think the same is likely true for music you know you could have a great idea um, put together a great song but if you don't have the right uh, sounds 
tools, VSTs, to really make it sound polished and crispy and crunchy and great, uh, people are not going to see the same quality in it. I uh, hope I articulated that well enough. So yeah, thanks, thanks for watching this today. I'm going to go through some other VSTs at <clears throat> some point. I'm going to try to keep the videos coming. Uh, I've just picked up um, Geist 2 and I'm uh, trying to learn and play with that. I wanted to have some sort of drum sequencer to use with Ableton Live and it seemed like it was a good choice. So I'm going to go through that and try that. Um, trying to hold off buying um, Wave Alchemy Evolution. Like I was trying to weigh the two to see which one would work. And then I was disappointed that with Wave Alchemy, uh, with their Evolution products, you had to use only their sounds. You could not use any external sounds, which was a bummer. But uh, I really <clears throat> want to find some sort of sequencer that I can work with, play with, um, save drum patterns, and maybe I'm overthinking it and I should just still be making uh, beats with uh, just an Ableton, but there's something about like that powerful sequencer that um, I don't know, I just, I, I want to utilize. So, so we'll see. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next video.